it's flown. It's literally flown by. I mean, I can't really believe we're three years in. And um, it's five years. Some people would say would is too long for many people, but actually, I don't. It's not. You you need. I think you know. You you need a second term to actually push through what you what you've got started in the first term. Um, I mean, I never believe that politics should be a marathon. It should be a relay, but five years. It's not a long time. I can make a difference. I. I'm all about social equality, social justice. What I really want is for us just all to have a fair shout, um, to have, a, a, you know, have opportunities across the board, really. So that's where I'm coming from. To be fair, I feel now that manifesto is a little weak, um, that I, I didn't make any promises, but I did give opinions on what I thought about things. I think, um, my next manifesto will be a lot stronger because I now know where I'm coming from and hopefully how to get to where I want to go. The topics were things like the promenade, which you know we have actually got on and done. There are issues surrounding that with communication, which you know, and that there are businesses down on the promenade now that are really, really struggling. Um, and although going into that, we thought we understood what the problems would be, what the downside would be I don't when it's actually hitting home I think it's more difficult has there been enough communication no mm -hmm. but government is notoriously bad at that they you know we just don't seem to get the right message out and we don't seem to consult with people enough the people that it really concerns and it's impacting on I absolutely love to talk to people I mean that's I, I much prefer that than than sort of this actually <laughs> you know I really like that getting out and speaking to people it's not been as much opportunity as I would like but I hope to address that certainly this summer um, that's that's my way of doing something is to, is to talk to people and get their feedback there's so much going on in education that is is really really good um, you know, I'm really pleased with um, the maintenance grant increases for lower and middle income families. I think that's hugely important. Having had a son at university myself, I know how much this costs and how hard it is to, to maintain them while they're there. Um, new education bill coming forward, which is actually good news. Health, the health review, which is a for me, is it, I just think that's a huge step forward now. You know, we've, it's been a long time coming and I think we've had to wait to get to where we are now before we can actually say, you know, this is it, we have to, we have to change, we have to transform the service. So that's a really good thing. You know, CAMS is, is, is bombed out really, isn't it? You know, it really is busy and there are waiting lists. Now, what we, what we are trying to do in health is um, Get established an autism pathway and to try to get because you've got all sorts of, of things going into CAMS like autism that really shouldn't be there it needs a separate pathway and that will hopefully open up the gates for people on the waiting list to get through I want to explore over the summer with, with other members, with members of the public, um, about a reduction in LegCo members from eight to six. Um, it's a little bit around saving money, um, but I, I want to spend the summer talking to people and actually looking at how much work that would mean that MHKs have to pick up. Um, so that's my next, that's, that's actually the main thing I want to have a look at in the summer. I really would like to see a mental capacity bill come through into the branches in this next 12 months. Um, I think it's hugely important. I've been really, really pushing for it in health because it affects so many other bits of legislation apart from anything else. But it actually it, it affects people's lives. It's deprivation of liberty, it, human rights. Um, and, you know, people who are sectioned or we've got dementia patients in care homes with locked doors now and um, that's for th that's not a bad thing but we have no legislative framework to to kind of hang that on 
So it's really, I, I feel absolutely essential that we get a capacity bill 